In addition to writing for TV and film, you have also written The Modern Gentleman, Cooking and Entertaining with Sean Kanan, a man who writes a book, cookbook. Tell us how you got started in that. Well, I've always, I've always had a passion for cooking, uh, starting back from when I went to college. I didn't really have the money to, uh, to, you know, to take girls out for expensive dinners, but I figured if I could learn to cook really well, I could get them to come to me, and it, it seemed to work out pretty well. <laughs> and you know, but more importantly than that, I've always thought that that food is, um, you know, it's a conduit for connection. You know, you know it's the old cooking and it's love in it, my it's, family, in most right. families, right? Yeah, I, I agree with that. And you know, it's the old saying about you know, if you sit down with somebody and you break bread with them, you yeah. know, it's easier to sort of form a bond. And it's true. There's something inherently um, connecting about having a meal with somebody, and when you actually cook that meal and provide it for them on the on the most visceral biological level, you're right. saying, I'm committed to your survival, I'm feeding you. And and it's so much more appreciated. I, I, I think so too. I love a man who cooks for me. I think it's sexy, It's it shows that you take the time. Yeah. I mean, it, oh, sure, I'd love to go to maestros too, but you know, having taking the time to do right. something that's thoughtful and meaningful shows that it, you matter, you're worth it. Did you grow up with your family cooking? You know, my mother was always taking different cooking classes. She was fascinated with, um, uh, Chinese food cooking, which oh. was great because I was fascinated with Chinese food. So that worked out really well. And, you know, I mean, a, a lot of uh, what I've learned to do, I'm not a trained cook or chef by any stretch of the imagination. You're not perfect, I, I, again. But, but, but I've just, I've taken little bits and pieces from, <laughs> right. the, you know, I, li I lived in, in Italy for a year and uh, was fortunate enough to make very good friends with uh, uh, an Italian fellow who owned a, a hotel and kitchen and, uh, you know, learned from my mom and... You know, I take a little here and a little there. And it's not just about cooking, but it's about etiquette. It's about exactly. manners. That's, you know, the, about the book's a hybrid. It really is. Uh, it's got some, some very sort of offbeat chapters in it. You know, there are definitely, uh, it'll teach you how to cook. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, but it also is a book for, um, to talk about the male psyche. You know, I really think it's, it's sort of a front row seat into the male psyche. And I think if the, for the same reason that sometimes guys will, you know, pick up a Cosmopolitan magazine and thumb through <laughs> that, you know, women will find this very interesting right. uh, as, as well. And it's a great book for young guys. I think, you know, so many young guys... Um, it, you know, a lot of guys my age were raised by their moms because dad was off working, sure. you know? And so consequently... There's sometimes a little bit of a disconnect, and it's like, well, am I supposed to be the gentleman that pulls the chair out for the women and opens the door, but yet, you know, 15, 20 years later when I get into the dating world and I do that, sometimes women say, well, I don't need you to do that for me. <laughs> and so it causes some confusion for guys. Right. And so they're left with, well, am I supposed to be this guy or that guy? Right. And, and I guess part of what I talk about in the book is teaching guys to be, you know, self-confident gentlemen without being doormats. Right. Good. Good point. And, and a cause that's important to you is anti-bullying. For sure. And also, you talk about giving young men some sort of direction to fill perhaps a void that they're filling with with bad behavior. Abs absolutely. You know, as a, as a young guy growing up, uh, as, as a little guy growing up, you know, I was unfortunately uh, subjected to a lot of bullying, and uh, I think that's probably what was the impetus of why I got involved in the martial arts. And I think that young young boys that are taught to be gentlemen and that are taught that every woman is somebody's mother, sister, daughter, et cetera, and, you know, taught to teach, treat other guys with, with respect, mm -hmm. uh, grow up to be gentlemen. And I think that there's a lot of information in this book that, that helps put them on that, that path. I, I like uh, someone wrote in the back here, Justin Chan, an actor from the Twilight Saga, wrote about your book. Sean's book gives single clowns like me the courage to step <laughs> into the kitchen and actually do something besides stand around. With his recipes and advice, we may even be able to impress a girl or two. And so uh, for you listeners listening, uh, Sean Kanan, his website is Sean Kanan, the modern gentleman dot com. Yes. And uh, he, there's recipes in here. There's lots of advice, experience, as he says. Right. There are a lot of great tips in there on what to do if you've messed up. Right. Where you talk about if you've salted something too much. And uh, oh, you throw, up, you throw a potato in. Throw a potato in. Sure. You talk about how to stop pasta from overboiling, right? which I, I yep. always do that. And what do you do? What's a simple trick? Well, you just... 
You tell me. You read the book. <laughs> yeah, page you, 19. I would, I would, you put the wood in the spoon. You put the wood in the spoon. You put the wood in the spoon. I haven't even tried. I saw that. You just put that right across. And it stops it? It does. It does. Imagine that. Drop a lettuce leaf into a pot of soup to absorb the excess fat. The excess fat, yeah. You know, you get that sort of that orangish fat on top. Yeah. You put a lettuce leaf or a cabbage leaf, and it takes it right off. That page alone was more important to me than the recipes. Oh, I appreciate that. Imagine that. We're talking about lettuce leaves on Angels Radio AMA 30 KLA. Probably the first time. Right.